Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl and the rest of the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we're going to be doing a mini Q&A video with some of the questions that you guys have sent in. Obviously, Superman and Lois is off right now. The Flash isn't back until March. So, I thought we could do a Q&A video because I like doing these answering your questions. And if you want to be featured in any of these future Q&A videos, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now, which is on my YouTube page. And you can leave a interesting topic, theory, or question for me to answer. And if it's really good, I'll put it in the video. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, as I mentioned, this video is going to be kind of skewing more towards the Supergirl and Superman Lois side of the Arrowverse. That's just some of the questions that I picked out that I wanted to talk about. There's a couple more Flash things I want to break down over the next couple of days, which will be coming out, so don't worry about that, so stay active on the channel. Remember to turn on notifications, which is very important because you won't miss the videos when they go up. And they normally go up about half seven UK time to like 9 p.m. UK time. That's normally when uploads go up, but sometimes it goes up later. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So this was my favorite question and it brings up something very interesting. So this is from Lionel Jacobs on YouTube who asks, Kyla Lee mentioned in an interview the Supergirl ending news came late and then as the test fate in a talk with Michael Rosenbaum revealed that due to COVID delays Melissa's pregnancy and then finding out season 6 would be the final season of the show, the show had to scrap storylines for the entire season and start from scratch. So basically the season 6 we got was not what they originally planned. They had to change everything after they found out the show was ending. They had to redo everything because season 6 was not supposed to be the last season. My question is, was the original season 6 plan and was that Legion-like story that Jesse Raff talked about a part of those plans? So this is a really good question and I really like the kind of detail that you put in there because I don't specifically remember some of these interviews, but it's interesting that you pull up that Kyla Lee said the Supergirl ending news came late, which obviously was the case. I do think it did come in late. However, it wasn't a cancellation type late situation where they find out, you know, they finish shooting the season, then they get cancelled. No, in this case, it was literally Melissa talking with the guys at Warner Brothers and the CW and everything, and basically they came to the decision a bit later that Supergirl would be ending and I don't think it was ridiculously late that they found out but definitely plans changed for season 6 when Melissa got pregnant and so you guys have to remember at the start of season 6 when Melissa was pregnant she wasn't able to show up for a large chunk of the filming so remember the start of season 6 was the Phantom Zone storyline Melissa was stuck in there so Supergirl was stuck there and so that was the kind of changes that you definitely had from the original plans for season 6 because originally she would have been you know with our team the whole time she wouldn't have been away for that long I think it was like six or seven episodes and so Melissa came back and when she came back in like January or February in 2021 she actually went back and filmed those episodes and that's why Supergirl season 6 came out so late because they had to wait for Melissa to come back to shoot all of her scenes for like the first you know six episodes or so while you know the other half of the cast were already like way ahead because they've been there for a long time and Melissa was basically playing catch up. So the Phantom Zone storyline definitely wasn't there they probably planned something different and what you bring up with Jesse Raff there was a quote like before season 6 came out that they were doing a legion like storyline that means something related to the legion of superheroes that actually never came to fruition i don't think if you look at anything in season 6 you can relate it that much to the legion apart from when win and monel come back but they wouldn't have known by that point so i don't think he's talking about that so I think, yes, you're right, the original start of Season 6 was somehow related to the Legion of Superheroes in some manner, and I don't really have a good guess as to what that Legion-like story could have been, but I don't blame it on anyone that we didn't get that story. Like, Melissa was pregnant, and it's great. Like, she has a kid. I'm sure she's extremely happy, and she wouldn't take it back, so I don't think we should 
put anything bad on Melissa for, you know, being busy. Like, she literally had the best reason not to be there. And so, looking back at Supergirl Season 6, it wasn't perfect. However, I have to say, I really like the way that they kind of worked around everything. Yes, the Phantom Zone story wasn't the most interesting, especially because of how disconnected it was on the Earth side. So with, like, Alex and Sean and everyone, it felt like they were kind of just chasing ghosts. I mean, they literally were. But they were trying to get Supergirl and we knew they wouldn't get to Supergirl until like episode 6 or 7. So you kind of had to hold your disbelief for a while. So I think that was the main problem. I don't think the main problem was actually Supergirl inside the Phantom Zone. That stuff with her dad was actually very interesting and I loved that they brought her dad into the show for the very first time since we've had those flashbacks. And so it kind of linked everything up and it made sense why he was there. And the last time we saw him, he obviously went off to Argo City and now Supergirl has both her parents back and that's so exciting for her. So imagine the future, like she's going to have a good future because she knows that they are both alive and well and she can visit them on Argo City whenever she wants. So really good question Lionel Jacobs. I really don't think anything else changed that much. I think the storyline changes happen mainly at the start of the season. If anyone worked on the show and wants to tell me any different, I'm open to hearing. However, from my guesses, it seems like, you know, just the Phantom Zone storyline was that new addition to the season, which replaced the Legion Knight storyline that maybe they had planned. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from John Mark Peterson. John Mark Peterson says, How soon do you think we will see Jordan helping Superman in the battlefield since now he has more control of his superpowers? Well, he's going to get more control of his superpowers even more now while he trains with his granddad. And I don't think this storyline is going to go on the whole season. I think Jordan's going to keep getting more powerful as he goes along this season. And potentially we'll get a big suit up reveal at some point. Because it's been teased. He's going to be on the battlefield sometime soon with Superman. And he needs a superhero costume. He can't go around as Jordan. Otherwise, everyone is going to know it's him. Like... Imagine all the people surrounding him. They made a big deal out of him not revealing his identity, well, his true identity as a Kryptonian to Sarah because basically it threatens to expose everyone else. So that's a big deal. And he's definitely going to have to have some sort of disguise if he goes out on the battlefield to help Superman. And yeah, he has more control of his powers and he is very powerful right now. But he's going to get even more powerful as the season goes by. So I'd probably give it like maybe four episodes. And then I think Clark and Lois are going to find out about his training. And then, you know, stuff's going to go down. Obviously, they're not going to be very happy with his granddad and Jordan. However, he's going to be more powerful. And I think he will help Superman at some point this season. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Nicholas on YouTube. who asks, do you like this version of Bizarro more than the one from Supergirl? So I don't think I can definitively give an answer just yet because we haven't finished the Bizarro storyline. I mean, we're just beginning, right? We've seen him for like a couple of episodes and he's been very interesting and, you know, we don't know his full motivations yet, but we kind of get the gist of what's happening. But I think as the next couple of episodes go by, we're going to find out more and more about how he was created, why he is like he is. And what is his link with Superman? Why do they have the visions? Why do they get the headaches? And so I think that inherently makes them more interesting than the Supergirl version. Only because the Supergirl version was cool, yes. But they didn't have that special connection. I really do like that link that they have on Superman Lois. Because it makes Bizarro less of a victim and less of a villain. But more of someone who is like searching for himself searching for his meaning because right now he's not like going after Superman just for the sake of it. In Supergirl, Supergirl's Bizarro went after Supergirl because she was basically trained to go after her. And that's normally how it is in the comics, but I like that there is a bit more humanity to this version of Bizarro because they're trying to find out what is actually going on, similar to Superman. So I think they can find some common ground there. The reason that they've had their fights is mainly because of their connection and trying to break off that connection and right now it seems that you know fighting each other or killing one another will just like instantly 
break that connection, which is probably true, but it's not like the best way to go around it. Until they find a better reason, they're going to continue fighting. And I'm extremely interested to find out who is actually behind this version of Bizarro, what is actually going on. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. This comes from Marcus Barris on YouTube who asks, is there going to be another spin-off off of Supergirl? And could it be a young Kara show? So, I like this idea. We talked about this quite a few times in the past. I think a Midvale Supergirl spin-off would be great because we get to see Kara and Alex as their kids and that basically opens up opportunities for Melissa and Kyla to return as their older versions at some point throughout the show. I think Midvale was very cool every time we've seen it. We've seen Midvale, they've done a couple of episodes, they did a two-parter in Season 6, which was some of the best episodes in Supergirl Season 6. And then a couple of seasons back, they did that first Midvale episode, which was really good. And, you know, you have Kenny, who's super interesting, and some of the other characters from around that time. So I definitely think it opens up a great opportunity to explore Supergirl even further than they did on the show because you get to explore her origins even better. So it would be kind of like an origin Supergirl show. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so let's move on. Jake on YouTube asks, will The Flash cross over with Superman and Lois? So I'm going to keep my answer brief for this. Yes, it's going to happen at some point. But Superman and Lois is going to have to really kind of buck up their ideas because I don't know how many seasons The Flash has left. It has probably like two, maybe three seasons left. However, I think the next crossover is going to happen next season. And I think it's going to be a big crossover because it's in fact the Arrowverse's 10th anniversary. So they're going to make a big deal out of that for sure. I think they would be crazy not to try and do a huge crossover. So I believe that's going to be when you're going to see The Flash and Superman and Lois and everyone else crossing over for the first time since Crisis on Infinite Earths. Individually, like if we have just like a Flash and Superman Lois crossover, probably a bit less likely. I mean, I would love it to happen, but I'm going to say a big crossover is more likely to happen sooner rather than later. Let's move on to the final question of the video. This comes from Casey Tran on YouTube who asks, what is the correlation between Superman's Bizarro and Naomi? Because they are both from Earth-29. So, in the comics, Bizarro World is Earth-29, and in Naomi, apparently, they just revealed that she's from Earth-29, which would normally be Bizarro World. However, I think Naomi is quite disconnected, and I don't think that they intended on making that kind of parallel. I mean, at one point, there could be some sort of big revelation that, yeah, Naomi lives on a parallel world, you know, a different version of Earth that, in fact, has all these different versions of Bizarro or, you know, it's like a reverse world. But with Superman and Lois's Bizarro, he could be from Earth-29, he could be from Naomi's Earth. I do think that maybe Superman and Lois's Bizarro is from somewhere else rather than being created here. That is definitely possible. But I don't see it that likely that, you know, he's from Naomi's Earth. And I don't think the showrunners and the writers correlated that well. Because as of right now, apparently Naomi is quite separate from the rest of the Arrowverse. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, you can become a member by clicking on the join button so you can join our monthly member Zoom calls. Also remember, we have a Discord. I'm going to leave that in the link in the description below so you guys can come along and join and, and chat with us about the shows every week. But for now, click on the top right corner of the video to watch my latest. And I'll see you guys later for some more videos later this week. Like I said, got a Flash video coming out in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. And remember, Superman Lois is off this week. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see.